Did they give you a name along with all those rippling pectorals? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 hottest male Disney characters. Oh, shall I uh, leave you in the blackboard alone for a moment? For this list, we'll be looking at the most handsome Disney men who turned our heads in our childhoods and adulthoods. We'll only be ranking the most finely drawn of animated men, which means we'll gawk at the live-action Disney heartthrobs another day. If we missed any of your favorite formative crushes, let us know in the comments below. Number 20. Jim Hawkins, Treasure Planet Everybody loves an adventurer, especially a hot adventurer. I don't know. They weren't exactly singing my praises when I left the home. <laughs> <sighs> But I'm gonna change all that. While Treasure Planet didn't necessarily rake in the big bucks, critics and audiences alike couldn't get enough of Jim Hawkins. Based on the novel Treasure Island, this movie follows Jim as he grows from troublemaker to treasure hunter, who still gets in trouble from time to time. Playing games? Are we? Yeah. Yeah, we're playing games. With his jacket, boots, and his adorable ponytail, Jim screamed bad boy to our prepubescent hearts. Even better was the heart of gold behind his rugged demeanor, and the fact that he was voiced by certified cutie Joseph Gordon-Levitt. <laughs> Number 19. Milo Thatch, Atlantis The Lost Empire Calling everyone whose type is nerds, Atlantis The Lost Empire is another Disney movie that didn't get the kudos it deserved at the time of its release. Not interested. I gotta admit, I'm disappointed. Now, our taste has matured enough to discover that, actually, yeah, this film rules. And also that Milo Thatch is one of the hottest animated protagonists we've ever seen, not to mention the smartest. You are a scholar, are you not? Ah, judging from your diminished physique and large forehead, you are suited for nothing else. He's a linguist and cartographer on a continuous search for the lost city of Atlantis. Throughout his career, everyone has made fun of him for his belief that Atlantis really does exist. But what we love about Milo is his unwavering determination and perseverance, no matter what people might say about him. Plus, his cute glasses and floppy hair do not hurt. What is wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I just got something in my eye. Number 18. David Cavena, Lilo and Stitch In Lilo and Stitch, Lilo's older sister Nani is the absolute best. She's smart, strong, and doesn't take any crap from anybody. So anyone who loves her as much as David Cavena does is automatically making our list. She likes her butt and fancy hair. I know. I read her diary. She thinks it's fancy? David might be a minor character in the movie, but his role is anything but. He helps Nani out when she needs it, and he's happy to play big brother to Lilo when Nani needs a break. I might not be a doctor. But I know that there's no better cure for a sour face than a couple of boards and some choice waves. What'd you think? We love a supportive king, but we would be lying if we didn't say that the fire-spinning and shirtless acrobatics didn't sway our judgment a bit here. Did you catch fire again? Nah, just the stage. Number 17. Robin Hood. Robin Hood. That's one foxy man, literally. You might not want to admit it to yourself, but this is a safe space, and we all definitely thought Robin Hood was one hot fox when we were kids. It was just so hard not to when he's suave, charming, and benevolent. I robbing the rich to feed the poor. Rob? That's a naughty word. We never rob. We just sort of borrow a bit from those who can afford it. Whether he's a thief or not, he's got a strong moral compass, and we appreciate that. But besides all that, there's just something about this fox that's a little too cute for comfort. And that's not an unpopular opinion either. Oh, he's so handsome. Just like his reward posters. Reportedly, this film was at the center for the creation of the furry community. To each their own, we say. And for our honeymoon, London, yes. Normandy, yes. sunny Spain. Why not? <laughs> Number 16, Dimitri, Anastasia. We know what you're thinking. Anastasia's not a Disney movie. You are sort of right. 
As of Disney's 2017 acquisition of 20th Century Fox, we can technically include Anastasia under Disney's umbrella. Just think, Vlad, no more forging papers, no more stolen goods. We'll have three tickets out of here. One for you, one for me, and one for Anastasia! And if that means we can talk about the beautiful man that's Dimitri, then we're happy to do so. In the film, Dimitri is the con man who decides to try and pass off Anya as Anastasia, unaware that she is, in fact, the real Anastasia. Show up, yes, look nice, fine, but lie? You don't know it's a lie. What if it's true? He starts off selfish, but as the film goes on, we see his love for Anya grow and his good heart shine through. Plus, yeah, his character design is easy on the eyes, all right? I'm feeling a little dizzy. Kind of lightheaded? Yeah. Me too. Number 15. Kovu, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride. Three, two, one. Gotcha! You could hear me, huh? <laughs> Only a lot. Here's another anthropomorphic childhood crush for you. In The Lion King, grown up Simba is definitely a little more attractive than any cartoon lion has the right to be. Maybe it's because he's voiced by Ferris Bueller? Hey, it's okay. I've really missed you. I've missed you, too. Either way, the animators took that to a whole nother level with Kovu in the sequel film. While Simba comes off as a good guy, if slightly arrogant, Kovu is harnessing that bad boy appeal to the max. You wouldn't last three days on your own. Oh, and I suppose you could teach me? Oh, yeah. The sequel follows the trajectory of Romeo and Juliet, with Kovu as the kid from the wrong side of the tracks. He's got a scar on his face, he's got a shady past, and he's ready to break your heart. Really, what more could you ask for? Now that I've found you, love will find a way. Number 14, Cocoon, Pocahontas. If it's been a while since you've seen Pocahontas, you might not remember Coquam, what with all the talk about John Smith. Oh, he's so handsome. And the I especially love his smile. Coquam is the Powhatan warrior who wants to marry Pocahontas, though her heart isn't entirely set on him. Obviously, she doesn't end up going that route, but honestly, maybe she should have. But he's so... serious. My daughter... Kokoam will make a fine husband. He is loyal and strong and will build you a good house with sturdy walls. In addition to not being part of a grand scheme to colonize her entire homeland, Kokoam's a total hottie. The picture of the strong and silent type, Pocahontas seemed to think that he was too serious and boring for her tastes. And maybe that's true. But if boring looks like that, we're happy to let our eyes glaze over. Tell her that. She listens to you. <laughs> sure she does. Number 13, Prince Charming, Cinderella. Sometimes you gotta honor the classics, and Prince Charming is definitely a classic. So this is love, so this is what makes life divine. The 1950 Cinderella was one of Disney's earliest hits and is a pretty standard girl meets prince tale. Some might find Charming to be a bit more bland than some of the other men on this list, but to that we say, what about his determination? This is a man who knows what he wants. From the moment he sees Cinderella, he only has eyes for her. Who she is or whence she came, he knows not, nor does he care. But his heart tells him that here, here is the maid predestined to be his bride. Come on, he's willing to search far and wide to find her again. That's a winner in our book. Plus, in the third movie, he proves he's creative as well as proactive. So we'd say he more than earned his spot on the list. I, I, I forbid you to take another step down these stairs! Okay. Ah, son! I'm back! Number 12, Tadashi Hamada, Big Hero 6. Spoilers ahead for this entry if you haven't seen Big Hero 6. While Tadashi isn't the Hamada brother we spend the most time with in this movie, he certainly is the one that stole our hearts. Yeah, going for a non-threatening, huggable kind of thing. Looks like a walking marshmallow. The film follows Tadashi's brother, Hiro, as he teams up with a robot to try and find out who's responsible for Tadashi's death. 
That's right, this is a character who's not much more than a plot device, and yet we still can't get enough. I'm not giving up on you. Ah! Uh, what are you doing? Shake things up! Use that big brain of yours to think your way out. Not only is he super cute, he's also incredibly smart and a wonderful big brother. The relationship that we get to see unfold between the two shows how much heart and love Tadashi carried with him in life, making his death that much harder to bear. Hey, I, um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you, so, y you know, thanks for not giving up on me. Number 11. Tarzan. Tarzan. It's no surprise Tarzan made this list. A muscly guy who swings around the jungle in nothing but a loincloth? Yep, sounds right up our alley. Loincloth? Good lord. What is she talking about? I had the foggiest idea. But we're not just in it for Tarzan's hot bod. That's only part of it. This is a man who loves the outdoors, is both sweet and curious, and also loves animals, which seems only natural provided that they make up his family, but we digress. Tarzan has an easy time making friends too, even when they speak different languages. When he starts to fall in love with Jane, he falls for her intellect and kind nature, and he puts his family above all else. Truly, what's not to love about this guy? Uh, thank you. Thanks for getting my glove. Thank you. Number 10. The Beast, Prince Adam, Beauty and the Beast. Belle, it's me. Lots of fans are split on this one, so we'll let you make the final call on which version of this love interest you prefer. In Beauty and the Beast, Prince Adam is cursed to spend his life as a hideous beast until he finds someone to love him. But we ask you, is he really that hideous? Not quite the word I was looking for. Perhaps a little more off the top. The design for the Beast is one of Disney's best. He's so expressive, so physical, and so undeniably cuddly. Don't get us wrong, Prince Adam's no slouch. We can only dream of having hair that luscious. Number 9. Hercules. Hercules. Whether he be scrawny or brawny, we love Hercules. Honey, you mean Hercules! Woohoo! I'd like to make some sweet music Our with Our story actually begins long before Hercules. This Disney-fied version of the character isn't quite true to his actual mythology, but in all honesty, we appreciate the creators for making him a guy we can root for. Nice work! Excelente! Is Wonder Boy here for real? This iteration of Hercules is sweet, a bit goofy, and not too comfortable in his huge muscly form, making him all the cuter. His awkward personality perfectly offsets his classic good looks, and he becomes a bit more interesting than just your typical Greek god. We also can't get enough of his relationship with Meg, and he has an excellent singing voice to boot. This guy's the total package. Wonder Boy, you are perfect. <laughs> Thanks. Whoops. <laughs> Number 8. John Smith, Pocahontas. Now, if we're speaking about historical accuracy, John Smith is not someone we want to praise. But in this heavily fictionalized version of events, those blonde locks cannot be denied. He has a good soul. And he's handsome, too. Oh, I like her. From the jump, John Smith is giving adventure vibes to the max. He saves Thomas's life. Seriously, one hottie saves another. And he seems more interested in exploring the Americas than any of the other awful things that actually transpired. A wilder, more challenging country I couldn't desire. Hundreds of dangers await, and I don't plan to miss one. Mostly, though, we just cannot get over that dreamy look in his eyes whenever he sees Pocahontas. His eagerness to learn, coupled with the halfway undone shirt, yep, fine, you got us. I'd rather die tomorrow than live a hundred years without knowing you. Number 7. Christoph Bjorgman, Frozen. When Frozen first begins, you think you're headed for a love triangle situation. She is engaged to someone else, okay? At first, both extensions of that love triangle seem to be on an even playing field. 
But Hans reveals his true nature soon enough, and the OTP becomes clear. There's your act of true love right there! Riding across the fjords like a valiant, pungent reindeer king! Kristoff might think reindeers are better than people, but we think he's better than most other people. Especially when it comes to the hotness levels. He's got the muscles, sure, he lifts a lot of ice. But he's also got such a sweet, goofy, and lovable nature that simply cannot be ignored. Even if Hans hadn't turned out to be evil incarnate, we probably still would have picked Kristoff. There's just something about a man who plays the lute. You got me. Let's call it a night. Good night. Don't let the frost bite. Bite. Number 6. Prince Philip, Sleeping Beauty. When it comes to the classic pre-Disney Renaissance princes, there is one who rises above the rest. Listen, we love Charming, but Prince Philip is the cream of the crop, and his beautiful face is only half the story. His jaunty hat and cape prove he's definitely one of the most fashionable Disney men, King Hubert's opinion notwithstanding. Uh, change into something suitable. Can't meet your future bride looking like that. But I have met her father. Throughout the movie, he proves time and time again how incredibly brave he is. The man quite literally goes to battle against a dragon to save Princess Aurora's life. How many men do you know who would fight a dragon for you? If this has proved one thing, it's that we need to have higher standards. <laughs> Number 5. Li Shang, Mulan. Does Fa Mulan live here? Thank you. Woo! Sign me up for the next war! Listen, we don't want to make assumptions about anyone's sexuality. All we're saying is, we don't think Li Shang was too deterred by Mulan while he still thought she was a man. And an open mind is one of the hottest things a guy can have. She's a hero. She's a woman! She'll never be worth anything! Listen, you pompous! That is enough. In addition to that, however, Li Shang is an excellent fighter, a great leader, and has the face of an angel. When you win his trust, it's not lost easily. Even when he's upset with Mulan at the end of the film, he still decides to follow her into the throes of battle. Come the end of the movie, we think Mulan's grandmother speaks for all of us. Would you like to stay for dinner? Would you like to stay forever? Number 4. Aladdin. Aladdin. Street rat? More like hot rat. Nah, we'll put that one through another round of edits. Let's not be too hasty. Still, I think he's rather tasty. There's no denying that for many of us, Aladdin was our first big crush. What did those animators honestly expect? The dude runs around practically shirtless, has great hair, and is a hopeless romantic. Having a friend who's a genie isn't half bad either. And wrong! I can't make anybody fall in love, remember? In addition to Aladdin's looks, he's one of the most selfless guys you'll ever meet. After spending the entire opening song attempting to steal one loaf of bread to feed himself, he ends up giving it to someone who needs it more than he does. Can you hear us swooning through your screen? It sounds a little strange, don't you think? Hmm. Not that strange. Number 3. Prince Eric, The Little Mermaid There's a plethora of good-looking men in Disney's The Little Mermaid. King Triton, anyone? If we had to pick just one dreamboat from the film, though, Prince Eric is the clear choice. I've never seen a human this close before. Oh, he's very handsome, isn't he? Just look at him. The blue eyes, the dimples, he's got it all. Not only is Eric one of the handsomest cartoons we've ever seen, but he's got a pretty great personality to match. Gee, you must have really been through something. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'll help you. He's happy to take Ariel in when she's in need, he loves his dog, and he enjoys the beach. Green flags aplenty with this one. What would I give to live where you are? What would I pay? To stay here beside you. Number 2. Naveen, The Princess and the Frog It's certainly a testament to a man's attractiveness if we consider him one of the most handsome Disney men when he spends the majority of his movie as a frog. Prince Naveen is so suave and charismatic, we just can't help it. Style! 
I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, what a coincidence, Lawrence. I have been avoiding you everywhere. He may start off the movie rather arrogant. It's hard to blame him with that face, but as the movie goes on, he changes his tune. In that respect, maybe spending some time as a frog was good for him. The way you light up when you talk about your dream. A dream that it is so beautiful, I... I promise I will do whatever it takes to make it come true. By the time we get to the end of the movie, he's turned out to not only be handsome, but a real stand-up guy as well. He's also a phenomenal dancer. Dreams do Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Flynn Rider – Tangled I know not who you are, nor how I came to find you, but may I just say… I… The bad boy, who's secretly a total dork with a heart of gold, is probably one of the most unattainable fantasies out there. Luckily for us, we can just watch Tangled and pretend it's real. Flynn Rider, or Eugene Fitzherbert as you might know him, is the most attractive man Disney has ever put on our screens, in more ways than one. All right, listen, I didn't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice. Here comes the smolder. He's got the looks, no doubt. That smolder cannot be denied, but it's what's inside that makes him number one. Throughout the film, we learn so much about his bravery and selflessness. No matter how much he tries to mask his soft underbelly behind that snark, it simply can't be done. All at once, everything is different. Now that I see you. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.